Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Dr. Pradhan here. Welcome to NPTEL project on econometric modeling. So, today we will discuss matrix approach to econometric modeling. In the last couple of lectures, we have discussed the fundamental issues of econometric modeling and we have discussed econometric modeling with respect to bivariate systems, trivariate system and multivariate systems and we have also discussed various problems and assumptions which we have means which we like to use in the case of bivariate system, trivariate system and multivariate system. So, or up to till now we have discussed the fundamental issues of econometric modeling which is one part of the you know one, uh, one part of the econometric modeling. So, in the next part of the econometric modeling we have to discuss various issues and problems with respect to the econometric modeling, whether the problem is in a bivariate setup or in a trivariate setup or in a multivariate setup. So, the moment or the once you have the estimated econometric modeling, then uh, or you can say uh, once we have the estimated econometric model, then obviously, next step is to ch check for you know best fitted models, whether the estimated model will be considered as the best model or not. So, the way we will check the existing estimated model to be the best, then there are uh, you know certain steps and there are certain formalities we have to maintain or we have to go through all these formalities. So, this uh, this requires you know enough knowledge, enough structures, you know various techniques through which we have to make a judgment uh, that uh, the existing econometric model, model will be the best and it can be used for forecasting and policy use. So, before we proceed to the second part of the models, uh, econometric model where we have to discuss various issues. So, we like to highlight the same issue which we have discussed earlier that to bivariate approach, trivariate approach and multivariate approach. So, here uh, uh, our uh, you know idea is to apply matrix and to simplify the existing system which we have discussed earlier. So, that means whether the problem is a bivariate setup or trivariate setup or multivariate setup, we can uh, we can start with a matrix and also you can solve with matrix. So, uh, up to till now we have discussed you know basic steps then in between we use matrix in a little bit so that uh, the problem will be very simple one and we, we, we will uh, through that simplicity we will get the estimated model. So, today we will discuss you know very beginning of this econometric systems and we will have the estimated models by the entire you know first to last we have to see how matrix can help so that uh, you can say we will get the you know estimated model without you can say with you can say less effort or you can say without any com uh, complexity. So, uh, let me start uh, or let me highlight how is this particular uh, you know setup through which we have to proceed. So, uh, we have discussed in the la last class or you know couple of back couple of lectures back. So, that y equal to beta 0 equal to sorry y equal to beta 0 plus summation beta j you know x j a a x j i a you know plus you know u j. So, this is the uh, initial setups i equal to uh, 1 to n ok. So, this is how the model is all about we can set here let us say y j here. So, now the basic formality is here is that. So, we, we will assume that y structure is like this y 1 y 2 up to y n and x x 1 consists of 
uh, okay, uh, that means this will be x 1 x 2 like this. So, uh, x 1 is equal to x 1 1 x 2 1 x 2 2 up to x 2 n. Okay. Then, uh, so, uh, sorry, this is x 3 1 up to x uh, you know n 1 uh, x 2 1 3 1 then n 1. Okay. So, similarly x 2 equal to x 2 1 x 2 2 and x 2 3 then it will it will go to x 2 n. So, okay. Then similarly uh, x 3 is equal to x 3 1 x 3 2 then x 1 1 x 2 1 x 3 1 x n 1. So, then it will it should be x 1 3 ok x it should be x 3 1 x 3 2 x 3 3 ok x 3 3 up to x 3 n. So, this is how you have to proceed ok. So, now similarly we have to find out x n x n 1 x n 2 up to x n. Okay, so this is how the entire structure is all, all about. So by the way, we have to transport the entire system into matrix format. So uh, how we'll do that? So let let us uh, let us start with a you know simple models here. So like y i equal to uh, y i equal to beta zero plus beta one beta one x one i plus beta two x two i plus beta k x k i ok plus q i this is the multivariate you can say model with the k number of variables and i is sample observation. So, here i equal to 1 2 up to n that is sample observations and k is the a number of you can say variables in the systems variables in the system that to that to uh, that to uh, uh, independent variables ok. So, because y is already one okay so uh, how will we write this particular structures if you, you know this is a, a, a actually this is in a implicit format so we will try to put it in explicit uh, explicit format so that the uh, all the equations uh, can be you can say uh, it can be very structured and it can be easily understood let let's see here so y y1 equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 1 plus beta uh, beta 2 x 1 2 plus beta n x 1 n ok plus u 1. So, this is first equation. So, let it be call it 1 then y 2 equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x 2 1 plus beta 2 x uh, 2 2 plus beta n x x 2 n plus u 2 ok. Similarly, y 3 equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x 3 1 x 3 1 then plus beta 2 x 3 2 ok x 3 2 uh, then plus beta n x 3 n x 3 n plus u 3 ok this will call it 2 this will call it 3 ok it will continue like this ok. So, then finally, we will get uh, y k y k because k number of variables are there y k equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x k 1 plus beta 2 x k 2 plus beta n x k n plus you know u n ok uh, plus uh, u k ok u k because uh, uh, it is in k to series. So, this is how the this is how the structure is all about. Let us assume that this is the step 1 of this matrix approach and this is step 2 of this matrix approach ok. Uh, okay. Uh, should I start once? Ok. Uh, 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 so, uh, the step 1 process is, is to hi highlight the multivariate uh, uh, multivariate uh, setup. So, where y i equal to beta 0, beta 1 x 1 i, beta 2 x 2 i, beta k x k uh, x k i u i, where i represents uh, number of sample observation in the systems and k represents number of uh, independent variables in the systems and y is the dependent variable. So, this is how the you know this means uh, 
basic framework of multivariate model. So, once you will expand that particular model, then we have series of equation like y 1 equal to beta 0, beta 1 x 1 1 plus beta 2 x 1 2 beta uh, up to beta n x 1 n plus u 1. So, similarly, y 2 equal to beta beta 0, beta 1 x 2 1, beta 2 x 2 2 up to beta n x 2 n u 2. So, it will continue. So, in the kth series, we will get y k equal to beta 0, beta 1 x k 1. So, up to beta n x k n plus u k. Okay. So, this is how the entire system all about. So, what you have to do? We will transport this particular system into a matrix approach. Okay. So, now I will write simply here. Uh, I will write, uh, write it here simply like y equal to y equal to x beta x beta plus u. So, the entire system whatever we have discussed in the step 2. So, I can represent or I can immediately transfer into this particular format. So, that means instead of writing so many equations, so many variables and so many parameters at a time. So, it is better you put in one equation and in a compact form format. So, that uh, 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 in a very small space and you know very small way you can represent the uh, entire issues. Okay. So, uh, let us say here is y equal to x beta plus u. So, how we have to uh, represent where, where y equal to the column vectors. So, y 1, y 2 up to y k. Okay. So, this is how the you can say y uh, y series all about. That means, this particular format here, so y equal to x beta plus u is nothing but in a vector format. Okay. So, that means, uh, uh, here we are writing y and we are here we are at writing x beta and u. So, that means, y has a series of component, x has a series of uh, components, beta has a series of component and u has a series of component. Let us first uh, put it in a particular uh, structure, then we will expand it. How we will go for this estimation. So, now, uh, uh, the moment we will transfer the entire step 2 equation into uh, you know step 3, where y equal to x beta plus u. So, where y represents y 1, y 2, y k. So, this is one you know one matrix. Okay. So, y is the variable which consists of y 1, y 2 up to oh, you can say uh, uh, y k. Okay. So, this that means, it is the order of k into or k cross 1. Okay. So, similarly, x represents here 1, 1, 1 up to 1. Okay. So, this is 1, then x 1, 1, x 2, 1, x 2, 2, then it will come to x k 2. Okay. So, similarly, x 2, 1, x uh, sorry, x 1, 2, x 2, 2, then it will continue x, you know, uh, x k 2, x k 2. So, so x 2 1 uh, x this is in fact x 3 1 then this is equal to k 1. Okay. So, that is the right structure. So, then it will continue then finally x 1 n x 2 n then we will have x k n. So, this is order of k into n. Okay. So, that means k number of variables into O k number of variables in uh, with n observations. Okay, so that means the matrix uh, x means it is the matrix of order k in, uh, k cross n. So k number of rows and n number of columns. Okay, uh, so that means uh, uh, we have to represent again beta. So beta is equal to here. So like beta zero, beta one, uh, up to beta n. Okay, so this is one particular format. So, then finally, u. So, u represents y 1, y 2, then u, u k, sorry, u 1, u 2, up to u k. So, for beta, the order is e n cross 1. So, n number of rows into 1 column. So, this is also uh, k cross 1. So, it is k number of rows into, uh, you know, uh, 1 column. So, now, uh, in the left side, so, the moment I will write y equal to x beta, x beta uh, plus u. So, then obviously, y is here, y here is k cross k cross 1. Okay. So, that means, the entire structure x beta plus u should be k into uh, or k cross 1. So, that means, here x represents here, x represents k into n. Okay. So, then beta represents n cross n, n cross 1. Okay. So, then uh, plus u represents 
k cross 1 ok. So, if you will target then by matrix you know structures this becomes automatically k cross 1. So, that means x beta uh, x is a vector beta is a vector. So, the, uh, when x has a order you can say k, k cross n and uh, b has a order uh, n cross 1. So, the obviously in the first case uh, right side and the second case left side should be equal then obviously this will be cross automatically. So, obviously the entire multiplication will be order k cross 1 only. So, this is k plus 1 and this is k plus 1. So, this is uh, this is systematic uh, means a, a efficient one. Uh, the reason is that uh, you have to here apply this addition properties because this is order same, this is order same. So, addition can be possible. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. So now uh, why we have so I will write it here once again. So y equal to x beta plus u. Okay. So this this will uh, put it in an equation number. So that means when we go for matrix approach, then our starting process is from y equal to x plus beta x beta plus u. Okay. Because whatever we have discussed before that, then these are all basic information to this to come to that particular equation y equal to x plus beta until unless you have complete a uh, information about the setup then you cannot understand this particular equation. So, y equal to x plus uh, x beta plus u means it is derived from this particular setup. So, where, uh, where the system is a uh, k number of variables the two independent variables and uh, one dependent variables y and the number of observations are you can say uh, uh, n number of observations are there. So, n number of observations k number of independent variables and one dependent variable that is y. So, that means, with one dependent variables and with k number of independent variables and sample size n. So, we have to build a model estimated model through the application of matrix that is the agenda which we discussed today. Okay. So, now y equal to x beta plus u is the starting point of this matrix approach. So, what I have to do? Let us assume that my estimated model will be y hat equal to x beta hat plus u ok x beta hat plus u. So, now so now what I have to do here uh, x beta plus u. So, uh, uh, by by the way how do I get a error component? So, next step is we have to get the error component o, o e equal to y minus y hat ok. So, this is the error component. So, now uh, you know uh, as per our earlier discussion with respect to bivariate, trivariate and multivariate, the moment we will get E or uh, that is error component, then obviously what we have to do, we usually uh, make it some squares, uh, then we have to minimize with respect to corresponding parameter. If it is you know bivariate, then we have to minimize with respect to beta 0 and beta 1, because in the bivariate there are two parameters and in the case of trivariate, we have three parameters beta 0, beta 1, beta 2 obviously, we have to minimize the error sum square with respect to beta 0 head, beta 1 head and beta 2. So, similarly, if we add one after another, then obviously, the equation will start adding. Okay. So, obviously, the complexity will start increasing. So, so now, we will start with some different way. That means, we have to assume that the entire structure is e, a, we are handling the entire structure at a time. So, okay. so e equal to y minus y head. So, that times we are making square and taking the summation. Uh, so, here there is no concept of uh, taking you know making squares and uh, taking the summation. Here we have to apply matrix multiplication that to application of transpose. Okay. So, now E equal to y minus y head. So, uh, oh that means what is this? So, it is equal to y minus what is y head? So, y head equal to oh sorry. So, this is y equal to x, x beta plus u. So, y head equal to simply x beta. There is no question of u. Er, er, error component will be automatically removed. So, that means uh, y head equal to x beta head only. So, this is equation number 2. So, that means when, when we subtract y minus y head, we will get error component. So, this is just subtractions. Okay. So, original equation with you know uh, this particular estimated equation. So, that means it is nothing but Y, y minus x beta head. So, this is y minus x beta head. So, I will write it here. 
So, E equal to y minus x beta h. All right. So, now what is E transpose? E transpose we, we will call it y minus x beta h into its transpose. Okay. So, so before handling this particular problem, you must have a sufficient information or sufficient knowledge about this matrix. Matrix is simply there are you know means there are many ways you have to represent the matrix. The simplest definition of matrix is to arrangement of elements in row wise and column wise, but uh, that is not the case here. So, we are not arranging here you know elements row wise and column wise. In the meantime, we are making you know systematic approach that is you know that is how that, that means it we here we are applying the application part of matrix. So, how this matrix can be utilize properly uh, to make the complex problem into simplex. So, that is the basic agenda here. Okay. So, this is how we have calculated e equal to y minus x beta and e transpose equal to y minus x beta head to the power transpose. Okay. So, now, so the moment you will get this one, then we we like to get summation e square. So, summation e square, so that is error sum square is equal to e transpose e only. So, e transpose E only. So, this is how the you can say sum, summation E square. So, that means what is E transpose E? So, let us say E equal to E 1, E 2 up to E n. So, E transpose mean, e, e transpose E means, so the structure will be like this. So, E 1, E 2 up to E n, okay. so, this is one uh, uh, column. So, then another column is E 1, E 2 up to E n. Okay. So, that means the multiplication will be like this e 1 1 e 2 2 then e n n okay the cross product will be automatically zero because this is our standard assumptions okay so uh, as a result we will get e transpose e okay so e transpose e is nothing but y minus x beta head to the power transpose into y minus x beta x beta head so this is our enter structures okay so this summation e square means y minus x beta head into y minus x beta. So, that means summation e square is equal to uh, uh, y bar y, uh, y transpose minus x beta head to the power transpose uh, into into y minus x beta x beta head. Okay. So, this is how the entire structure is all about. So, now we have to we have to you can check uh, we have to diversify it. So, what you have to do? So, summation e square equal to y transpose minus beta head transpose x transpose uh, uh, into y minus x beta heads. Okay. So, this is how because this is the pro, uh, as per the property of you know uh, transpose x beta head transpose means beta head transpose x transpose. Okay. So, this is how the uh, property all about. So, uh, I, I, I am not going to teach all these details about matrix just if that you have to learn yourself. So, here I, I have to give the only structure how matrix can be used to estimate this econometric model that to multivariate analysis. So, accordingly we have to proceed. So, um, uh, that means we are assuming that uh, uh, you uh, means I am assuming that you must have some information about matrix until unless you have matrix complete um, until unless you have complete information about matrix it is very difficult to to touch this ones uh, or you cannot handle this particular component. So, obviously, you have to first learn the basic of matrix then you have to apply for uh, means uh, if by any chance if you have no matrix knowledge then you have to go by the simple structure of the econometric modeling which we have discussed in the last class. Okay. So, uh, if you like to make it very attractive you know uh, and you like to you know save time or you can say make it very beautiness then obviously you have to learn matrix and you have to apply the matrix to get the system done okay in a proper way or systematic way so this is how the summation is here so now what you have to do so this is nothing but we have to go for multi multi multiplication so y transpose y minus y transpose x beta head minus beta head transpose x transpose y minus uh, sorry plus beta head transpose x transpose x beta head. So, this is how the internal multiplication all about. Okay. So, now, um, now we, 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 we will go for uh, uh, simplification uh, we have to go we have to simplify this one. So, now this is nothing but y transpose y minus I will write here 2 a 2 beta head 
ट्रांसपोज एक्स ट्रांसपोज वाई ए प्लस बीटा हेड ट्रांसपोज एक्स ट्रांसपोज एक्स बीटा हेड सो दैट मीन्स दिस पार्टिकुलर कम्पोनेंट दिस एंड दिस विल बी इक्वाल बिकज इट इज ए यू नो सीमेट्रिक इन नेचर सो दैट मीन्स वाई ट्रांसपोज एक्स बीटा हेड इज इक्वल टू बीटा हेड ट्रांसपोज एक्स ट्रांसपोज वाई ओके एंड ओके सो बाई इफ यूल एप्लाई दिस पार्टिकुलर फॉर स्ट्रक्चर देन ऑब्वियसली दि इक्वेशन विल बी रिड्यूस टू दिस मच सो नाउ बीटा हेड ट्रांसपोज इज दि आवर रिक्वायरमेंट सो उई हेव टू मिनिमाइज विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू बीटा हेड ओके सो बट रिमेम्बर हियर बीटा हेड डज नट मीन ओनली वन बीटा बीटा हेड इंडिकेट्स सो मेनी बीटाज आर देयर सो दैट मीन्स इट इट इज दि सेट अफ बीटा जिरो बीटा वन बीटा टू अफ टू बीटा के ओके सो देर आर सीरीज अफ बीटाज आर देयर बट उई आर पुटिंग बीटा सो हियर बीटा इज नट ए इंडिविजुअल कम्पोनेट रेदर इट इज ए वेक्टर ओके सो डि समेसन स्क्र बै डि बीटा हेड सो हुई इज नथिंग बट नथिंग बट which is coming like this okay so the structure will be like this uh, y a so i can directly write here 2 x transpose y 2 x transpose y a plus 2 x transpose x beta heads because uh, uh, because uh, there is a property of matrix is that d x transpose a x by d x is equal to टू ए एक्स और टू एक्स ट्रांसपोज ए ओके सो दिस इज हाउ बाय एप्लाइंग दिस पर्टिकुलर कंपोनेंट इफ यू डिफरेंशिएट दिस पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर देन ऑब्वियसली विल गेट दिस पर्टिकुलर इक्वेशन सो दैट मींस दिस शुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो ओके सो इफ यू विल मेक इक्वल टू जीरो देन ऑब्वियसली बाय सिंप्लीफिक इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई देन एक्स ट्रांसपोज वाई इक्वल टू एक्स ट्रांसपोज एक्स बीटा हेड्स ओके so now x transpose y equal to x transpose x beta head so we need what is the value of beta head okay so beta head so that means what you have to do we have to multiply x transpose x inverse in both the sides because we need beta head so uh, if you go to the right side then obviously x transpose x is the extra component so now if you multiply x transpose x inverse uh, inverse then obviously you, we can have only beta head in the right side so uh, uh, because uh, 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 just like if a is a matrix then by properties of inverse matrix a inverse a equal to unit matrix so obviously we will means we have to apply that particular uh, properties of uh, inverse matrix then uh, we have to uh, find the solutions so now if we will multiply x transpose x inverse on the both the sides then that will be like this x transpose x inverse x transpose y equal to x transpose x inverse x transpose x beta okay so now this and this is you know unit so if i take this is a then this is a inverse so that will be unit matrix so that means this is called as unit matrix of order n so beta okay so that means it is equal to x transpose x inverse x transpose y so that means what will conclude here Uh, what we will conclude here so beta head equal to x transpose x inverse x transpose y okay so this is the conclusions we have or uh, this is the result we have received from this particular analysis so that means that means our structure is like this our structure is here so start, uh, starting point is y x beta plus u then uh, by the way we we have y, y head equal to x beta head then by the way we have e equal to y minus x beta head and by the way we have e transpose uh, uh, e transpose equal to y minus x beta head to the power transpose then we have the uh, we have the you know multiplication e into e transpose then obviously we have to differentiate the sum squares Uh, with respect to beta then we will get this equation okay so now by this process we have received by the simplicity we have received beta head equal to x transpose x inverse x transpose y so that means what is x transpose x inverse let us see what is that okay x transpose x inverse so that means uh, uh, you know uh, x transpose x inverse means uh, we have to find out the uh, we have to apply the inverse matrix formula then you have to do the job accordingly 
So, x transpose x is basically like this. So, let us say x 1 uh, up to uh, x 2 up to you can say x n this side and this side x 1 x 2 up to x n. Okay. So, then we have to go for this this into this this into this this into this then this into this this into this and this into this like this. Okay. So, that means this particular item will be summation x 1 square uh, this part item is equal to summation x 1 x 2 this item equal to summation x 1 x n. So, similarly x 2 into x 1 okay. then summation x 2 x 2 square then x 2 x n. Okay. So, similarly x n x 1 summation x n x 2 then summation x n into x n that is x n square. So, that means x transpose x mean x inverse means only this much. Okay. So, this is the x transpose x inverse matrix. Okay. So, similarly we get to know what is uh, what is the x transpose y. Okay. So, x transpose y that means we can write it here also x transpose y. So, that means we have to multiply the a x transpose of vec, um, you know uh, vectors then y vectors the, uh, the product will give you x transpose y. So, which is nothing but summation y then summation x 1 y then summation x 2 y okay, x 2 y then continue equal to sum, summation x k y. Okay. So, this is how the entire structures all right. I will I will write it once again here. So, that means here x transpose x inverse means x transpose x inverse means x transpose x inverse means this is summation x 1 square summation x 1 x 2 then summation x 1 x n okay. then summation x 2 x 1 summation x 2 square summation x 2 x n then continue then summation x n x 1 summation x n x 2 then summation x n squares ok this is x x x transpose x inverse and x transpose y is equal to summation y summation x 1 y then summation x 2 y then summation x k y ok. So, this is how the entire systems ok. So, now so why why we are writing all these things because we have the structures uh, means by the way when we have a x beta x beta heads then y head equal to x beta head then beta head equal to x transpose x inverse x transpose y. So, that means if you multiply this and this then obviously you will you will get this particular product this is this is nothing but uh, uh, you know uh, this is n series n into k and this is k into 1 ok. So, you will get n into 1 matrix. So, that means y 1 y 1 y 2 up to y n that is the nth observations ok. So, now uh, uh, once you have the estimated I uh, means uh, if you go by as usual procedures then first uh, first objective is to set the equation then you transfer into mathematical form of the model then uh, sorry that means you set the theory then you transfer the theory into mathematical form of the model then you have to transfer into the statistical form of the model then you have to apply some technique to get the estimated model the moment you will get the estimated model then obviously next objective you have to go for uh, you know uh, uh, checking the um, fitness of the model so that means uh, uh, as usual we have two different structures that to test the significance of the parameters and to test the overall fitness of the model so now to check the significance of the parameters so we have to uh, means we need uh, we need to calculate variance of all these parameters then standard error of all the parameters then followed by t statistic and then you have to compare with the tabulated accordingly we have to look whether it is significant uh, and if it is significant at what levels okay so I, whether it is 1 percent level or 5 percent level or 10 percent level and whether it is to one tail test or two tail test. So, this is how the which we have already discussed all these details. So, now in the time being in this particular matrix. So, the moment you will transfer the entire you know complex problem into simplex by the uh, by the, by representing one simple in, uh, equation like y equal to simply x beta plus u and obviously by the way uh, means it by the way when we start estimating then we have received y head equal to x beta head where beta head equal to x transpose x inverse x transpose y. Okay. 
x transverse x inverse into x transverse y. So, uh, we have already uh, uh, already mentioned what is x transpose x inverse and we have already known x transpose y. So, now if you will again multiply then obviously, the product will give you the coefficients of beta that means, the estimated coefficients of beta that 2 beta 0, beta 1, beta 2 up to beta k. Okay. So, once you have this uh, uh, you know uh, beta coefficient estimated beta coefficient that to uh, that is from beta 0 to beta 1 uh, beta k head. Uh, so, next step is to check whether all this all these parameters are statistically significant. So, that means, we like to test whether beta 0 is significant or beta 1 is significant, beta 2 is significant up to beta k is significant. So, we have to set the null, null hypothesis accordingly corresponding to each particular parameter separately, then you have to test uh, one by one. So, okay. so, there may be possible because there are k number of variables, some, some, some parameters may be significant, some parameters some parameters may not and there may be possibility that no parameters will be significant and there may be possibility that all the parameters will be significant by you know it may be any case that that does not matter but we have to check, we have to now justify what are the ways or what is the procedural measures how to check all these details so now for that the standard component we need is called as a variance of beta head because here we are just uh, getting the beta head coefficient that is x transpose x inverse into x transpose y. So, now when I write beta head equal to x transpose x inverse x transpose y it looks like one component only, but beta is a vector here. So, it, it involves beta 1 beta beta 0 beta 1 beta 2 up to beta k. So, now since we are representing in a vector format then uh, as per the vector format so, we like to know whether this particular beta is statistically significant. So, obviously, if you like to know whether this particular beta is significant, then we have we like to know whether this you know uh, this particular uh, means we like to know what is the variance of beta head beta head first and obviously, we like to know what is the standard error. Then, we have to set the null hypothesis, then accordingly we have to calculate this t statistic and can compare with the tabulated statistic with particular level of significance. So, as usual you have to proceed accordingly. So, in the meantime we need to know what is the variance of beta head. So, here so this, this so here beta head beta head equal to x transpose x inverse x transpose uh, x transpose y this is how beta head. So, now we need variance of beta head ok variance of beta head is equal to here sigma square x transpose x inverse. Okay. So, there is actually there is a mathematical derivation here. So, how do we get this variance of beta head from the uh, given beta head so, that is x transpose x inverse into x transpose y. So, I am not deriving all these details because we have lack of time. So, what I uh, uh, that is the reason I am omitting lots lots of steps here. So, what you have to know? So, we just uh, fit the entire system into the matrix ap approach that means, you put a single equation which can describe the entire structure. So, then uh, by a, a means by the application of matrix then we come to a conclusion. So, that means, we have the estimated beta coefficient and we like to now check whether this particular co coefficient, uh, beta coefficient is significant or not. So, for that we need to have variance of beta head and variance of beta head is calculated by this particular formula sigma square u x transpose x inverse. So, now what is sigma square u? So, sigma square u we have discussed the entire structure is almost all same just we have to put it is you know matrix approach is just like world wine in a new bottle. So, we are just putting something in a very a systematic way and more, more attractive way that is that is uh, all about this particular lectures. Otherwise, uh, this uh, these, these are the components which we have already discussed. Okay. So, we are just representing in same same different uh, means in the different format. Okay. So, now variance of beta head equal to sigma square x transpose x inverse. Okay. So, what is sigma square? Sigma square equal to summation e square by n minus k. Okay. So, n represents number of sample observation, k represents number of in, uh, involvement of variables that is independent variables. Okay. So, now what is summation e square? Summation e square equal to summation y square uh, 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 summation y square minus y head square. So, am I right? Summation uh, no summation y, y square e square equal to summation y square minus summation y head square. So, okay. So, this is how we have to write. So, now we know there is a concept called as a total sum square is equal to explained sum square plus uh, residual sum squares. Okay, so this is 
this is nothing total sum square means this is summation y square this is summation y hat square and this is summation e square this is residual sum square so now how do we get all these de details because this is all about matrix approach okay so it is not as usual standard uh, uh, structure so it may be similar line but there is a little bit different so uh, we don't like to dig all these details right now so we'd like to know what is the simple formula through which the uh, job can be done so that is our objective here so now so here sigma square equal to summation e square by n minus k so summation e square equal to summation y hat square minus summation sorry the summation uh, y square minus uh, summation uh, uh, y square minus summation y hat square okay so now here so we, we can write total sum square total sum square equal to summation y square so it can be also you can say uh, uh, other way we can write it here so that that is nothing but y transpose y minus n y bar square n y bar squares okay uh, so this is that means what we are doing is summation e square y squares means so uh, the way we have received summation e square that means e transpose e so similarly we have to get the summation y squares by multiplying y with y transpose okay so the moment you will go for multiplication y transpose to y then you will get summation e squares okay so now if you simplify again then the entire structure will be y transpose y minus n y bar squares okay so this is tss the similarly rss equal to y transpose y minus beta hat transpose x transpose y okay so then similarly uh, ess ess equal to beta hat transpose x transpose y minus n y bar squares okay so this is tss this is rss this is ess okay so now we can check it whether uh, tss equal to rss plus ess so now you see here so if we really club all these details then obviously this and this will be cancelled so obviously we have this particular structure only so this is nothing but this one okay so that means uh, summation y square equal to y head uh, y transpose y minus n y bar squares okay so now uh, now our job is almost all done because we need only what is the estimated beta coefficient its variance so once you get the variance then obviously we set the null hypothesis then you can get the standard error of beta head that means once you have a, a variance of beta you make it square root you will get the standard error of uh, all these coefficients means that to beta head here then you have to set the null hypothesis accordingly we will calculate the tree statistic by you know beta beta uh, divided by standard error beta head then ultimately we have to go accordingly so that means we we have to check with is tabulated statistic and also significance level so that means so this is one part of the story in that to you know specification test and that to uh, significance of the parameters the next part of the problem is to know the overall fitness of the model so far as the overall fitness of the model so as usual we have to we we like to know what is the value of r r square and uh, r bar squares that is adjusted r squares okay so what is r square here r square as usual uh, the uh, means the formula is the ratio between excellent sum square by total sum square so similarly we can also apply here because r square equal to ess by tss but uh, uh, here ess is equal to uh, beta head transpose x transpose y minus n y bar square divided by and divided by tss that is y transpose y minus n y bar squares so this is how the r square value is all about okay so the moment you will get r square value then accordingly you can get the adjusted r square adjusted r square is nothing but 1 minus 1 minus r square into n minus 1 by n minus k so this is not a problem so the once you have r square then you can easily get uh, r bar square provided you must uh, have knowledge on uh, n and you must have knowledge on k but here are we, we 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 are almost all in that particular structure that means there are n observation and k a k number of variables so that's why there is no problem here to uh, means there is no confusion at all so when we will handle a particular uh, practical problem that times that times n must be in a particular figures exact figures k also particular figure that two exact figure so accordingly you have to uh, go for it the adjusted r squares 
So, similarly, uh, the way we are testing the significance of the parameters through t statistics, here also we have to test the overall fitness of the model with the f statistics. So, now as usual we have to, we like to know what is the f statistic here. So, f statistic again the ratio between exponent sum, sum, exponent sum square with a residual sum square. So, accordingly you will get you can say the f statistics. So, uh, again you have to check the tabulated statistic with the corresponding degrees you have drawn that is you know n minus uh, n minus 1 to n minus k. So, obviously accordingly uh, you have to see whether the overall fitness of the model that to r square is statistically significant or not. If it is so, then you have to proceed accordingly. So, that means, what we have uh, discussed till now is that uh, we just you know transport the entire structure into uh, particular format. So, complete in linear matrix approach. So, in the earlier versions of our you know modeling that to bivariate and trivariate and multivariate we just you know start deriving all these equations then you uh, you know we uh, apply summation um, accordingly we will get the estimated all all estimated equations in means that means we have to apply the OLS technique then we have to differentiate with respect to this error sum square error sum square to that uh, estimated parameter and ultimately with respect to particular uh, modeling systems that to bivariate trivariate and multivariate we uh, estimate the parameters or you like to differentiate the sum square with respect to all these parameters. Then once you have a standard uh, you know, equation, we transfer the standard equation to some particular either in matrix format or you can say by Kramer rule, rule principles or you can directly solve this simultaneous equation if you are very comfortable. If the problem is bivariate or trivariate, it, it is very easy to solve very quickly without having the touch of you know matrix with any convergence rules etcetera etcetera. But uh, when the problem is more complicated that means when the system will be more than 3 more than 4 or you can say 5, 6, 7 like this in that times uh, you know it is very difficult to handle manually. So, either you go with the subshare technique or you can say there are standard so many subshares are there. So, you just uh, enter the data and give click, 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 you will get the results. It is not easy, uh, uh, it is not difficult at all. But you know, uh, if you have no st uh, statistical subshare or if you are not allowed to use statistical subshare, then you, you cannot handle this multivariate problems uh, within a time, time frame and that to particularly uh, for exam point of view or you can say class point of view. So, in that context to transfer this you know complexity to simplicity, so what you have to do? Oh, you ap apply the matrix approach, then automatically you can get these things easily. Okay, so it is not uh, it's not such uh, such a serious issue. So it is very uh, easy to tackle the uh, particular problem. So that means what we can conclude that m matrix has a lots of application, lots of utility, and you know that to use in econometric modeling. And most, uh, you know, particularly when there is a multivariate analysis, then uh, the matrix has a uh, typical, you know, uh, it has lots of beautiful beautiness, so that we can transfer the entire things into a simplicity format. So this is how the entire structure all about. So now, whatever we have discussed, the matrix approach of multivariate modeling. Uh, we can uh, we can examine or we can justify the same thing with respect to a particular problem. So you know uh, it does not mean that the matrix approach will be always applicable to uh, multivariate problems. So even if in the bivariate setup, you can you can also uh, we can also uh, you can say apply matrix approach directly. But you know uh, matrix set, uh, approach is the uh, it is a very simple technique. But you know, when the system is very consistent, I means very uh, the structure is very small, then obviously that times uh, the matrix approach uh, looks like a complex. But when the problem is bigger and very complex, then that times the matrix approach will make the thing very simpler. So that's why you have to take a decision and you have to uh, you have to proceed accordingly. But in the meantime, it's not possible to handle you know many variables and that to application of m matrix because ultimately whether you know uh, using the simple pro uh, simple analysis or matrix analysis 
ultimately you have to handle the entire uh, 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 means all these variables at a time. So, now when we apply the matrix approach then that to you know um, multiple variables at times your size of the matrix will be bigger. So, when the size of the matrix will be bigger that means with respect to its order then uh, uh, so matrix multiplication will be also very uh, not just so much difficult, but it will take lots of time and uh, uh, it it will add little bit complexity. So, to transfer all these uh, all these uh, structure into simple, so what you have to do? Uh, you, you have to look into very carefully then uh, apply accordingly. So, my suggestion is that when the system is very simple that too you can say bivariate and trivariate then you can uh, you, you, you need not require to use matrix you can go ahead with the simple calculation only a simple estimation process and when the problem will be more complicated like you know uh, means particularly in the multivariate cases. So, that times you have to apply matrix approach, but if you apply if you are very smart and uh, you have a very smart knowledge on matrix then even if you handle this particular bivariate system itself. Okay. So, you use matrix very beginning and to, to till end, but you know uh, uh, generally this particular technique is useful just to get the estimated model. So, now once the estimated models you have then the things will be in other way around that means uh, after estimation models the re, uh, next step is just to check whether this model is completely reliable or not that means it is free from all these errors. So, that is how we are doing for all diagnostic test and all these you know uh, significance test etcetera etcetera. So, now uh, you know so this this means after estimation whatever these steps are available to get the best fitted model this uh, means in that case uh, uh, you, you know matrix may not be very useful, but you know to get the problem uh, means at the starting point to est get the estimated model. So, within that process matrix has a lots of application uh, means after that there is there can be you know use of matrix, but uh, that usefulness is not so important because uh, uh, having the estimated model then you know lots of things can be done easily without having the application of matrix for that. Okay. So, but uh, to get the estimated model that to uh, means this particular component that matrix approach to multivariate is specifically very useful or very handy for classroom only or that to exam point of view, but when you are handling you know uh, you know big big problems particularly in a research oriented problems or uh, uh, research projects. So, that times obviously, there is no point to do all these uh, things in that uh, room. So, you have to directly handle with the softwares. So, that times matrix has no utility at all, but uh, specifically matrix has a utility when you are in the class and you have to have your job is or your job is how quickly you can evaluate this particular model without having the use of softwares only. So, then in that case even if without the use of you can say excel sheet. So, you have to everything you have to do through you can say uh, matrix. So, that times it is very easy, but when we do, when we you have the opportunity to handle excel sheet and you can say structural software that times it is not required at all to apply matrix approach. Uh, that means, what is my conclusion is that matrix uh, approach is basically very useful when there is a you know no access to internet or you can say excel sheet. If there is access to internet and excel sheet that times it is not required at all uh, the use of matrix approach. So, in the uh, uh, with this we can conclude this particular session and in the next class we will discuss this same matrix approach to multivariate with a particular uh, problem. So, you know we, we, we are just theoretically discussing these issues, but practically how we have to uh, design all these structure into in the matrix format that is more interesting and more attractive. So, that we will discuss in the next class. Thank you very much have a nice day.